Toppers are a cosmetic choice within Rocket League. There are hundreds to choose from in hundreds of unique styles. So why do so many people decide to use none of them? What about Rocket League's ecosystem makes players so adverse to unique choices? Why are toppers non-meta? Toppers have been available since the launch of Rocket League in 2015. They are home to some of the more outlandish design choices available in-game, some a bit more tamer than others. They exist purely as a cosmetic choice, which means that they have no physical impact on gameplay. They do not interact with the surroundings, the ball, or other players, which means that the only deciding factor in their use is appeal. Toppers are extremely common early on in the life cycle of a Rocket League player, as the game isn't taken particularly seriously and the focus is more on having an enjoyable experience. You might pick up some wacky topper from the rocket pass that you like, and it will end up on your car without a second fall. Jumping in from scratch, it's likely very difficult to imagine how wearing a funny hat would affect gameplay in any way, particularly with the unrefined chaos of new player lobbies. As players tend to dive deeper into the more competitive aspects of the game, the toppers fade in use as early as the intermediate ranks, but why would that be? Firstly, as mentioned, toppers don't physically impact gameplay, for example changing the car's handling or speed, which means that they don't add any competitive value with their existence. Toppers then tend to become unwanted noise that can affect how you perceive your car's movement and rotation. They can also give a false perspective on the area that your hitbox encompasses. Obviously, they don't physically affect it at all, but since the actual collision box is invisible to players, it can subconsciously affect how you perceive it and cause you to miscalculate shots, for example. You could make a fair argument to suggest that a small topper might actually help orient the car in 3D space, but at the same time there are a bunch of parts on the battle cars that do that already. There is, of course, the factor of aesthetics to consider. Outside of a small number of functional items, none of these toppers actually exist for cars in the real world. Most cars don't have anything on their roofs, as that would not only impact its real world performance, but would break up the form of the body. So it can seem out of place or style to have something even fairly modest on top of your battle car, especially as the game sees an increasing number of real world licensed cars enter its roster, some of which don't even let you equip toppers on them. Even fairly new cars can find themselves ditching toppers very early on. These reasons are why toppers often find themselves almost entirely unused in the pro scene, outside of a handful of exceptions. They are universally avoided due to the unwanted noise they add to gameplay. They might only affect performance marginally, but would you really want a game to come down to a topper of all things? As a result, they are often used as a form of self-expression. And that's their purpose really, expression. If you don't really care too much about seeking out every possible advantage, toppers could be a really great way to bring out some unique flair to your setup. Unique stylings tend to fizzle out as you climb the ranks, often replaced by cleaner and more true to life builds. So what better way to stand out than by bolting something to the roof of your car? You can definitely pull off some really cool designs with toppers too, which admittedly might not be the easiest to play with, but certainly can turn a head or two. Overall, it's pretty clear why toppers don't gel well with competition. They tend to add too much without any real benefit. I wish there were some more form-fitting ones, like this little boost pad topper, that would toe the line between aesthetic and expression. But unfortunately, one size has to fit all when it concerns Rocket League, and this game has more than a handful of cars to cater toward. Could we see a topper meta in the future? Only probably a community meme one, but one can dream. Thanks for watching, uh, just a short one this week as there's not really too much to cover with toppers. As I mentioned, uh, we'll be uploading every Friday so be sure to tune in next week for a new video. It's my birthday on the 30th and I would really appreciate it if you liked and subscribed. That would be a really great early birthday present and I'll see you guys in the next one.